At Wallawa Lake last September, I promised you that we would be doing something really different this year. I promised you that we would visit some place we had never been before. And in order to accomplish that, of course, we had to push ourselves to the very edge. A subtle clue. <laughs> this year's ride will open in this magnificent valley, which I know many of you will immediately recognize. <laughs> Anyone want another clue? Here is one of the valley's most famous landmarks. How about one more clue? Enough with the teasing. This year's tour will indeed open in Medford. Our campsite will be in the spiffy new sports complex right there on the edge of town. Yes, that means we'll be welcomed by acres and acres of brand new plush green grass. The day will begin with a leisurely cruise through those orchards along the Bear Creek Greenway. That's one of the southern branches of our state scenic bikeway network. And we'll make our very first stop of the Cycle Oregon Tour in Ashland. <laughs> As you all know, Cycle Oregon is all about tradition. And one tradition that we always look for, that we always adhere to, is something flat for the first morning of the tour. <laughs> People, it's Ashland. There are nothing but bucolic roads around here. And indeed, we explored literally scores of opportunities for classic day one cruising. But then, we remembered. This is the age of Obama. We're supposed to embrace change. <laughs> and so we looked upon that Cycle Oregon tradition of an easy morning. <laughs> and we took a deep breath and we lifted our eyes and indeed, the Siskiyous. Well, we thought, let's just go a mile or two up the old Siskiyou Highway. And sure enough, there we found Immigrant Lake. And then we thought, well, of course, what's the point of climbing a hill unless you keep going to the very top? <laughs> yes, indeed. On the morning, the morning of the first day, <laughs> we're going to climb to the summit of the Siskiyous. <laughs> Easy for you all to ooh and ah now. <laughs> and after all that work, it will indeed be time for a little reward. So yes, we will plunge down the other side. This, um, this is what it looks like at 22 miles per hour. <laughs> and this may just be the most panoramic descent in all of Cycle Oregon history. For there, unfurling below us, is the entire Shasta Basin. We will cross that shimmering valley floor. It's a really stupendous afternoon ride. And we will spend the evening in Wairika. So there it is. It's your day one ride, Medford to Wairika. It's 85 miles. <laughs> now. <laughs> Some of you, some of you I know will be getting the impression from this elevation that there is a certain degree of inclination there. Um, I can assure you this evening that that is not an optical illusion. Uh, for many in the Cycle Oregon family, there is a tradition of showing up on the tour and completing their training on days one and two. This is not the year to do that. <laughs> this is the year when you show up ready to ride. On then to day two, biking the byway. I suspect there may be some of you in this audience already, even now concluding that in plunging south off those Siskiyous, we must have crossed some sort of border. We must have ridden into a state I once swore Cycle Oregon would never enter. 
those people concluding that this evening would be grievously wrong. We have indeed crossed a border, but what we have entered is not California. We have entered the state of Jefferson. For those of you not familiar with this tale, it was here in 1941 that the people, deeply frustrated by the lack of attention they were getting from both Sacramento and Salem, took a truly remarkable step. They seceded from both California and Oregon and formed the 49th state, the state of Jefferson, the altered state of Jefferson. <laughs> I should tell you all, this uh, state of Jefferson thing was no quirky public relations stunt. This was no viral marketing gimmick aimed at YouTube. These folks were serious. They barricaded the highway. They stamped passports. They were so serious that when the San Francisco Chronicle sent a reporter to investigate the uprising, the fellow won himself a Pulitzer Prize. They elected a local judge as their first governor, governor of the state of Jefferson, and they set the date for the big inauguration. The date they picked, December 7, 1941. By the time the war was over, Jefferson State was no more. We thought it would be fun this year to revive it. And so on Monday morning, we'll strike west from Wairika. Be sure not to miss this charming downtown while you're there. It really is a lovely little western town. And then we'll pedal these ethereal acres along what's officially designated as the State of Jefferson Scenic Byway. This will give us our first look at this remarkable country along the lower Klamath River. We'll cross no fewer than five pioneer bridges the date from the 1930s, and after lunch, continuing on downstream, we'll ride deep into the heart of Bigfoot <laughs> country. <laughs> Trust me, when you see, when you feel quite how remote this area is, you too will begin to think of Bigfoot sightings as utterly plausible. And finally, we'll settle for the evening into the tiny community of Happy Camp. Is there a better name for a town than Happy Camp? This is day two, our Wairika to Happy Camp ride, 74 miles. Yes, this really is an astonishing day in the saddle. Every mile is downhill. <coughs> That's about as good as it gets, so enjoy day two.